Welcome again to Educator.com as we learn how to eat this elephant together. The next part of the elephant we're going to eat is writing introductions. So we're going to go over the basic structure of the essay just one more time. We got the introduction paragraph, we got the three body paragraphs, and the closing paragraph. This lesson is concentrating on number one right here. I'll show you how to, what the point of an introduction paragraph is and how to make it so that your reader's going to want to read everything else. So, first off, we've got to get that reader interested with the introduction paragraph. I mean, if it's not a good introduction, why should they read the other four paragraphs if they don't like the introduction? They'll get bored and just want to read something else. Also, the introduction paragraph is important because you've got to mention that topic, then you also have to mention the thesis. And which comes first? Well, the topic's the most broad, the thesis is a little bit more tight, so we're going to mention the topic first. But above all, above all, your introduction must clearly state the thesis. It has to be so clear. It's got to be like the sun on a California afternoon. That is how clear that thesis has to be in the introduction. We usually put it at the end, but there's a bunch of things that we put to lead up to the thesis first. So, the first thing that we want in our introductions is we want a great opening line. And I'm going to go over a couple possibilities that you can use for your first opening line to really grab the reader's attention and make them want to read on. Remember, the introduction is all about getting the reader's attention, and so we've got to appeal to emotions to do that. First thing we're going to do is quotations. So, a quotation has a certain type of emotional appeal. It, it appeals to someone's sense of admiration. It also associates your paper with a really, really awesome person. And it also will add credibility to whatever else you're going to say next. Where can we find these great quotes? Well, we got books by authors. That's probably about the most obvious place. Famous speeches are a great place to look for quotes if you got the patience to read through them all the way. I bet that you got lots of songs memorized right now. So I bet you could come up with some great song lyrics and appropriate ones that might be good in the beginning of your essay. And then, of course, there are hundreds and hundreds of websites there that will have quotes for you. Be careful about these websites. I read one that was supposed to be attributed to Plato a while back, and it turns out it was actually just from a 19th century minister. So be careful about those websites. Kind of check them out. And make sure you can fact check them before you put them in your essays.